So, hello everybody. Driven by Mars 16.2 is out and if you have never heard about Driven by Mars, it's a totally free extension for Bitwig Studio as well as Caucus Reaper, which adds the support for many, many controller devices and it has a very deep integration with your DAW. The download is from my webpage, which you can find down in the video description. So much for that, let's dive right in. Version 16.2 is all about the push. So many new features for the push one as well as for the push two, which I show here. We will later have a look at the push one as well. So what's new? First thing is let's go into that one, which has many tracks, something many people were asking about. Now you can finally, if you just press here the button on next, it will move the whole page of tracks, not only one track, because you can simply select the track like this and then this quickly switches to the second page. Why did I do this? The main reason was because I wanted to free up the shift key. Before that you had to use a shift key and the arrow button to move the whole page. But now I have this shift button freed again and we can use it for something really cool because if I now use shift, I can move the track so I can say I want to move the drum track to the right or I can also move it to the left. So pretty cool new feature. Same thing works for devices. So let's go up again here. Let's go into the policy and on that track I just added randomly a tons of plugins so we can see that as well. So you can also now directly jump to the second page and also go back to the first page. What also works here is you can select a plugin for example it's Amp and then also with shift and the arrow buttons you can move that device in the device chain to the right or back again even to the beginning. So while we're in a device mode, there are more new features in the device mode. For example, you can now quickly disable or enable several devices by simply pressing the mute button and then selecting the device and it will be muted. And this is also new. Muted devices are now drawn here in gray, so it's easier visible which of the devices are active and which are not. And you can also enable them back again. Another nice feature is the ribbon controller. He has already several features and there is now one more. You can, if you remember, press shift and touch it to go into the configuration mode here. And I rearranged it a bit to make more space for functions. You can simply use it as a pitch bender, continuous control messages, also in combination those two. You can use it as a simple volume fader here and you can now use the new function last touch. There is no state for a last touch parameter in Bitwig, but then I thought I can simply remember that myself. For example here, change the volume of the second track and then this will be assigned here to the fader as well. Or if we go back here somewhere in the control, I just, it's enough to touch it. So I just touch the second one and then you can use the fader, which is maybe nicer to control than the one above or for that one, go here, turn it on and turn it off again. But you have to be in that view to show that you cannot leave it and go somewhere else this is not working but nevertheless might be handy in some situations so let's have a quick look on the push one as well so here on push one the things i showed you work the same for example you can also here use shift and here the selected track we can move that here the cursors are down here and also move that around and same here for that area just also rearranged. Now here we have also the touched mode here and you have now the CC1 here in the left one and you have also still the quick selection. Always remember that the second row buttons are the upper one stuff here. Something new here, if you press the select button, you get this details view and there now you have the full information of the track. It's longer than before. And also you get here the type of the track. So you see it's the instrument track. If we go here, 
credit to that track, you see it's an audio track. Um, yeah, because this is not like on the push to that you have an icon. So this information is not available here. So now you can use select and see what type of track you're actually on. So much for 16 to 2, all the new stuff for the Ableton Push 1 and 2. And I hope you dig it and make some funky music. 